Hello folks, been a while since I put something on and this picture that you're looking at at the moment is the reason why I haven't been doing my model stuff. Uh, sunshine's been out now and again, that big yellow thing we don't see much of and when it has I've been working on this thing here. Um, this was taken a couple of weeks ago, it's had a, a lot more modifications and add-on bits since then but that's what's kept me away. Anyway, today's <coughs> video there's been a lot of discussions on YouTube uh, sites of late um, about the cost of modelling, uh, why is it so expensive etc etc. Well I'm not going to start another debate. Um, at the end of the day you all know my motto, do it cheaply, do it cheaply, save money. So because of that you know that I'm always looking, searching on eBay for cheap stuff to buy and today I'm going to show you the cheapest haul that I've ever got so far and when I say cheap I mean as in absolutely zero now it wasn't off eBay so I'm cheating a little bit my uncle Gerard who you've heard me talk about before who I've done some local repairing videos for um, was at a local car boot um, spotted a guy selling some stuff um, he paid him I think it was 20 quid for a big suitcase full of stuff and he's took out what he wanted and he's given me the rest and it's exactly the kind of stuff that I'd have bought anyway so Uncle Jared I know you'll be watching this thank you very very much this stuff is what I absolutely love so anyway let's stop that run on let's have a look at what we've got so We've got part of a, a girder bridge, sorry my cigarette rolling along, and we've got some signals, yes they're all a bit tatty and that one's broken but so what I can fix them. There's some more signals here, and a water crane, we've got a little shed, canopy off a railway station, again you know me, bits always come in handy, um, some brick tiling, a little window, I'm not sure what you call them but the little land side huts <coughs> and if anybody would like to tell me what this is or what they think this is that would be very helpful it looks like it's maybe off some kind of model like as in a truck or I don't know but anyway if anyone has an idea give us a shout so we've got over there another good station well as you all know I've already done one of those so don't know where I'm going with that thing yet but I'm sure I'll come up with something uh, body shell off a loco top half of a sax assault wagon top half of a shell tanker I have some of those but with all the chassis and stuff top half of a tender um, part of an old thing there now this thing I'm going to show you next is the most weirdest one, in fact let me just move it so I can get a better shot of it. Now this thing really like but the problem is it's very very American and I'll show you what I mean. Now look at this, with all this timber slatting on here and the timber slatting on there and the fact that it's got holes in it and what have you um, let me just spin it around you can see what I mean it's got a broken roof on it so it's very Americanized but in actual fact what it is is if you look in there this is a hopper that feeds out under there so you can have wagon rolling in and filling up so I'm gonna use it but I think I've got to make it look a little more British so I'll be doing some research online and seeing what I can find that matches up with it it's almost a shame um, to do something with it um, but it's it, it's as I say it to me um, I know I've got a couple of American subscribers you might look at this and think yeah that's brilliant for an old kind of you know maybe 1800s type of railway with the big old steam engines and the cow catches on the front and that's what this strikes me as 
but unfortunately mine's not American it's British I've got to make it look British which is almost a shame but I can't live with it like that so anyway there you go that's that and then we've got a lid off a box van always comes in handy a news agents well I not long ago got one similar to this in a cheap haul of Pico stuff that was all brand new that I paid next to nothing for so that, this one will go on the other side of my main platform I've got some kind of a I don't know what you want to call it a farm building if you like and then we've got this one that sits next to it now this one has been handmade as you can see fairly solid wooden walls the plan is is these doors here we're going to make this end one look the same then we're going to make them all half open uh, and we're going to put horses in them with their heads popping out so it looked like a stable block I'm not even sure where I'm going to put it on my layout yet but I think it would look good and that comes off a Hornby uh, engine shed which I'm short of one so it's obviously coming off there and I'll get used um, we've got this building flat topped looks like a house or an actual fact turn it around it's a shop now again it looks very American the whole flat roof and the balcony just screams Americana um, can't do that with me so we're gonna put an apex roof on it and all those slatted windows I'm probably gonna cut um, on the little ones here I'll leave that top one and cut the other two out so it looks like a top opener and on these I might leave a middle bar in and remove the rest uh, and re-plastic it and what have you um, back down here we have this no idea what it is but I'll find the use for it um, we've got a little cabin and what I really like is this on the side a little barrel and a pipe that looks like it's collecting rainwater I thought that was a fantastic idea um, I've got a con flat um, which obviously needs a lot of work it's I'm guessing let me just look inside no there's no mountains I'm guessing it's a Hornby Dublo it's cast metal it's got quite a bad fracture in it there so I'm guessing that will be a Horn, Horn, old Hornby Dublo model and then we've got <coughs> a little coal office and a couple of landside huts and a bungalow there a house over there we've got this which is a make I can't know what it is but I can't remember it lovely little bungalow but that cast thing on the bottom of it let me just bring it over so you can see I'm guessing that that's supposed to be a pool or a pond Um, it's bloody awful <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that off the bottom of that and get rid of it and then up here we've got one two three four Georgian houses one stashed so Mr Folson let's have a look at your, your little model again I might have a mini version of a Mr Folston's house on that railway just for a laugh um, but they're all gonna get done up and then one thing that I've been looking at so I was really pleased about this sorry I'm in the dark is that oh. I've been looking at getting a little church and Uncle Jed gave me this one now it's got no roof in so we'll we'll deal with that and it's missing some of its glazing here but again I'll figure some out I might get some clear plastic uh, and paint different colours on it and then stick it on the back and see what it looks like but it's going to get repainted up and what have you and I was discussing with my one of my daughters the other day um, she said it hasn't got a bell and I was thinking about getting a little speaker that we could put inside it um, and on the press of a button it'll play the sound of real church bells I think that would be quite cool that so yeah that's that's gonna get completely recovered and then the last thing bear with me folks sorry because I'm doing this late on it in the day and it's a little getting a little dark is this it's some kind of a a goods platform delivery I, I really don't know what it is um, there's not even as you can see there's not even a name 
underneath it so I have no idea who makes this thing but you've got a little run up there steps um, it's missing it's got five of these green pillars it needs six so I'm just going to space them out so there's one on each corner I think that'll be sufficient what I'm going to do with this I have no idea but you know me I don't throw anything away so we've got one two three four five <coughs> six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen buildings and then on top of all of that I've got all the trackside stuff bits of repair things um, and those hiding around the corner all for free now to be honest with you as I said my uncle Jed said he bought this on a car boot sale <coughs> he paid £20 um, I'd have paid 20 quid for it and all I'd have given 30 quid for it to be honest with you that's just my daughter knocking one of them off there knocking one of me my little thatchy type things off the printer mm -hmm. um, I'd have paid 30 quid for this all day long um, it seriously made me think twice about going to car boots because I hate the places I've always kind of thought that car boats were always full of other people's rubbish um, this is my kind of rubbish um, I'm absolutely over the moon with all of this because I was kind of at an end uh, other than I think I had a house and a couple of signal boxes left that I've got in previous halls um, so I was almost at an end with restoring old stuff and now I've got all of this so plenty for me to, pardon me plenty for me to get on with once again thanks Uncle Jed and I will touch ever so slightly on the whole why a model railway is so expensive scenario it doesn't have to be I keep saying this and I'll say it again and again and again at the end of the day um, this hobby is has a notoriety of being expensive um, I bought a railway magazine a few weeks ago in my local news agent and he went oh that's an expensive hobby no it isn't yes it can be and if that's what you want to do and you want to spend all that big money then that's your thing I'm not that kind of person I don't like spending lots of money I am really really honestly over the moon with all of this stuff that I've got here and even if I'd paid for it myself and I'd paid 20 quid I'd be still thrilled to bits because I look at this and think someone was going to get rid of it if he didn't sell it that day who knows he might have gone home and thrown it all in the bin and that's just a crying shame because there's nothing really wrong with it the bulk of every single item is here okay it might be badly decorated it might have a few dings in it you know etc etc but it doesn't mean it's ready for the scrapyard <coughs> this stuff can be reclaimed and that's why I changed my uh, YouTube channel across to recycled model railways we all go on about it in this day and age recycling recycling well I am I'm recycling all, all the old stuff that I can get my hands on and when I'm done my layout will have models on it that yes will be recognisable in some way shape or form but will not look like how it was originally made so if you want to go out and spend your money on stuff that's your call that's entirely your call all these arguments about you know what we're doing this that and that I agree with some of them that yes by paying expensive money it's encouraging the manufacturers to charge more etc etc there's a million arguments I'm not gonna you know get on either side of the fence with that all I'm saying is this is me this is recycled model railways we get old stuff we look at it and it doesn't matter how bad it is if you don't believe me look at the um, I think it was a gauge master station that I got and there was hardly anything of it left um, and I completely rebuilt that and made it into a standalone unit that yes resembled the original but was completely different in another way um, most people were going to chuck that in the bin why? this is what recycle is all about taking stuff like all of these and turning them into something 
that once again can be stood on a, on a, a model railway out and look proud but not have cost me a fortune I won't be looking around my railway um, and think to myself wow I've spent thousands and thousands of pounds the one thing that I'm going to spend money on is A converting the loft and B the track so really from the sense of you know spending money on the railway the track is going to be my only real outlay I'm not going to cut corners on that I'm not going to use second hand uh, I'm going straight out for brand new Pico gear because I've seen what can happen if you buy second hand stuff uh, in respect to track and what have you and it's just not worth it once I've got that thing built I want to run it I don't want constant problems so anyway that's me moaning on I'm going to get off my soapbox but um, there you are I've got a lot more projects to go on to now um, if the sun keeps coming out I will keep disappearing off out with my children on a weekend or alternatively working on that little beauty there um, so yeah that's where I'm at so before I go just um, a quick thank you to all the new subscribers that I've got since I was last making a video um, I do see them come on I usually do um, you know I always acknowledge that it's there uh, I'm not sure if everybody sees the acknowledgements but I do always acknowledge any new subscribers um, and I will sub back to them um, so yeah thank you to all the new people um, thank you to all the old ones for still staying with me I know I don't get videos up very often but I'm a busy man I've got two companies that I run I have young children at home so it's a big big balancing and juggling act but there again it is the same for a lot of you you know this is a hobby we fit it in when we get chance but this lot really looking forward to getting into all of this anyway if anybody has any suggestions on what that metal frame thing was if anybody has any suggestions on where I might get some cheap stained glass and I don't mean cheap because you all know what I'm like um, let me know in the comments and if anybody has any ideas what that little thing there might be used for if it has an intended purpose fine tell me if not it will be given an intended purpose because I'll probably stick it on there like that is my immediate thoughts and Mr Falston watch this space because that thing I'm going to try it probably looks nothing like your place but it just amused me when I saw the thatch cottage I thought oh look Graham's house so it might not have um, cars packed in the drive like yours and what have you mate but it's just a daft little thing for me it's a little in joke between us um, I know you handmade yours and I'm going down the much easier and cheaper route of refabricating that thing anyway nice to speak to everybody um, hope you have all have a great bank holiday weekend I don't know about where you are but where I am the weatherman is actually threatening sunshine all weekend We'll see if he gets it right. Catch you all later, folks. Bye-bye for now.